Hey, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be an around the house episode. The way that I usually compile an around the house episode is if I started getting footage of something that I originally thought might be a DIY or a how to, but didn't quite get enough footage to make it a dedicated video, I basically compile that footage to share a vlog of what I've been working on around the house and maybe it will spark some interest for a project that you can get creative with or if there's a project you want me to show more specifics or details on, I can do a video on that in the future. So I'm just going to basically share with you what I have been up to around the house, what I've been working on and I'm gonna go ahead and jump right in. In preparation for summer, we're spending a lot of time on updating the herb garden, also the back patio, and this area here right behind my work studio. So this is where I have my music room and also sort of like my craft room where I have my sewing table and all of my crafts and DIY projects and things that I do back there. We decided to paint the entire house white, so all the bricks will be painted white over the course of the summer. We have this great sprayer that's been making our life easy, but we started with the back patio and the back porch here. And we're hoping that that will spruce up the house, plus we are changing out all of the shutters. Byron made these really beautiful shutters here. In the coming weeks, we're gonna focus more on the herb garden. We're gonna add a small greenhouse and also give you guys a tour of that. But two years ago, we started adding some beautiful flowers along the fence line. Byron just built this fence and planted some wonderful jasmine. Uh, we have the jasmine along the trellis, and then we just added some more outdoor patio furniture. The chairs and tables we bought and built together, and the kids even helped us with that project. I thought I got some video on my phone of it, but it turns out I guess I didn't do it. I was too busy focusing on building it, but I did get some finishing, uh, I got some footage when it was finished. Jasmine smells incredible, but it also is great for training to grow up along a wall or along a trellis. Byron built this incredible raised bed and added some herbs uh, so we can just pick and use that in the summer as well when we're doing barbecues outside. We have some succulents uh, that we grew in our succulents garden, some hanging plants. Uh, so yeah, we thought that this would just be a great spot for having family and friends over during the summer months. We love the sensory experience. You can hear the wind chimes, you can smell the jasmine, and of course, whatever we're cooking. Uh, so it's just a great space that we've been spending a lot of time working on and sort of trying to update and make look better. Um, Byron's actually going to be sharing this in more detail, how he did everything on his Instagram and on his blog. So that's why I didn't go into too many details or do a how-to on my channel, but he will be sharing that. This is one of my favorite areas that we've created. When we first moved in, it was just rocks and the tree and nothing else. So now we have the herb garden, we have the playhouse, we just built the rock climbing wall for the kids. I love watching the kids play and working in the herb garden. And then the back patio leads to the music room. So I'm looking out onto the back patio here from inside the music room. And then to sort of turn into the music room, this is where I write songs, where I create music, where I practice. And we also do music lessons with the boys. I'm not super formal right now just because I really want them to just have fun with music. So Oliver's been learning I'm Still Standing by Elton John. So he's been learning all the chords. Now the music room comes out of the master bedroom. So this is the master bedroom. To the left is the bathroom. And then once you're in the music room, there's a back room here that was originally an entertainment room. The original, or the owners before us rather, had this as an entertainment room. And we always just use this as storage until I started sewing and needed a place to put all of my crafty things. So it's all kind of a mess in here right now, but this is my craft and sewing room. So this is where I keep my knitting goodies and Byron built me that beautiful sewing table. And so this is where I work on all my projects back here. And I love cause you can peek out into the herb garden. I could watch the kids on the trampoline while I'm working on a project and I can hear the wind chimes, which I love.
There are always a million and one projects that I'm up to or trying to work on or fixing up around the house and I don't film a lot of them. I try to show most of what I'm doing on a day-to-day -day ba basis on my Instagram. Um, but it's hard to film everything just because I like to just get it done and sometimes I forget to set up the camera and film it. We have had this set of drawers since I was pregnant with Oliver and the handles were starting to fall off. I don't wanna get a new drawer just because of that. So I got these sort of vintage looking handles and I'm basically just replacing all the handles on these drawers. And then I'm gonna spruce up the drawers as well by sort of cleaning it, cleaning up any nicks. I might repaint this, like I might sand it and repaint it in a future video. I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you think I should sand it and repaint it? And then what color would I repaint it? This was a pretty easy fix and an easy update. I just had to make sure that they were level and um, yeah, just screwed them into the wall or rather the drawers and it looks so much better. And now I have to decide if I wanna repaint this or just keep it as is. Um, but yeah, it was just one of those things that I needed to fix and uh, so that was something that I've been up to. We like to landscape with flowers and herbs because we like to bring them in our home. So I often bring the succulents and the flowers in to decorate. I have some empty spaces on the wall that I wanted to fill. So I have some wood that I found on the property that I cut flush, hung it up on the wall, added these really cool like vintage turquoise knobs and used that as a hat rack. I have two of them in my master bedroom. And then I took these pieces of wood, cut them at an angle, 22 and a half. I use the miter saw for projects like this and I've done DIYs in the past showing the miter saw in different projects that I've made. Um, but yeah, just trying to fill in empty spaces on the wall. Also right here felt like an empty space so I got this metal sun on sale and I hung that up as well. Just trying to create an ambiance. We've lived here for four years and we're always adding, we're always fixing, we're always you know, cleaning and adjusting and trying to make it feel like our own you know, little sanctuary in our own space. So. I hope you enjoyed this video, even though it wasn't like a how-to or a DIY per se. I'm always happy to do a project here if there's one you want to see, but I ended up not getting enough footage to share a how-to video. Rather, I thought I would share like a vlog and a compilation of some of the projects we've been up to and some of the things we've been doing more recently. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm gonna try to do a home tour very soon. Also share some more around the house, some cleaning routines. And so if you like my channel, please be sure to subscribe. Click that bell notification so you can get notifications when I upload new videos. And I'll see you very soon in my next one. Bye.